somebody who has very much benefited from the WYSIWYG, the whole family. Welcome on board. Hello, Millie. Hi. Millie Hazel. Hi. Just wondered if Jack would come and show us his extraordinary skills. If he's around, has he disappeared? Where are you, Jack? Is he coming round? Yeah, he's a taken with a robot. <laughs> what, me or the robot? I'm the robot one. Oh. Hello, Jack. Look at this manoeuvrability from this young man. Not even three yet. He shocked us, actually. The minute he got into I think about ten minutes in, um, he, was, he was away. Um, the, the, the notches on the skirting board are for me. I'm trying to reverse it in and out of the room. but. No, he's phenomenal. He picked up Jack, Jack, can you show us how you can do your twirls? Can you do a little skip? No, a bit shy, a bit too much in front of the audience. But he, yeah, absolutely. But I also like to mention as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you look away when it happens. Look at that. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, Lexi and Archie, you are also with us today. You are absolutely fantastic on your whizzy bugs as well. Um, just tell us very briefly, why did he d need a whizzy bug? Okay, so Jack was diagnosed with something called spinal muscular atrophy, um, which is a form of motor neurone disease, and it affects all of the muscles in his body, swallowing, breathing, etc. And eventually they waste. Um, they deteriorate, they weaken. So one of the complications of the condition is that Jack will never walk. So uh, obviously... No, not everyone will know that, you know, in the NHS, the fantastic work it's doing in this uh, special year itself is that it, never, it didn't actually provide anything like this for a child under five. No, no, they don't, at this point, they, they provide a buggy, um, but they don't provide anything that they can drive themselves. I don't know why, we, we up to now assumed it was because they felt it wasn't really necessary, so um, without Wizzy, we would have had to wait another two years for Jack to be independently mobile. And what's it brought to your family having a Wizzy bug? It's changed our lives completely. We, when Jack was first diagnosed, it was, it, it's hard to explain how that feels. Um, all we saw was you know, darkness, that's all we could think of. And Wizzy bug threw us a massive lifeline at the time because it made us, us realise that he could do anything that other children could and he was independent, he, his confidence just soared, he was able to go to nursery and we realised one of the problems he was having was he couldn't get himself out of a situation he was uncomfortable in, um, but with Wizzy he can just leave if he's uncomfortable and it just, just made him into the body he is today, his character really shone as soon as he got Wizzy and you know for a family it's made, it's just made our lives so much more fulfilling because we now realise that we can do lots of stuff. We think at the beginning it's all he can't do this and he can't do that, but now he can do anything. Now, now he can. This boy can. Yeah, yeah. This boy really can. He really can. <laughs> Uh, now, the, the brilliant thing I think about the Wizzy Bugs, and we've done a, a couple of stories over the years with Points West, for sure, and Radio Bristol, is that you don't have to pay for it, you can borrow it. Yeah. I know, when, when, as I said, when you, when you first get hit with this diagnosis, a hundred things are going through your head, um, and you're not prepared. And one of the first things is whether or not, you, you know, you couldn't have afforded anything like this, there was no way you could have done it. But the fact that there's a minimal deposit and then nothing, but you still have all the maintenance, anything that goes wrong with it, they answer within, you know, a day. Um, it's just been amazing. And the fact that we've still got it and we haven't had to put our hands in our pockets has been, you know, amazing. It's really how, how amazing it has been. No clear picture of why designability is just so necessary. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Absolutely. I think, you know, it's, it, as I said, it's a lifeline. It gives people that hope that actually they can do everything that they need to do and they want to do. And it just sets them up for the future. I mean, Jack's been in it for a year and a half. I think he was about one and a half when he got it. Um, and he was away. Um, and you know, people wouldn't believe that at that age, you could be independently mobile in a wheelchair. And he could be. I think he's proven that because, you know, he can reverse round corners, he can <laughs> reverse park, he can do anything that you need to do. So, um, Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ella. Hello. Nice to see you. Are you having a little look? Do you like the Wizzy bug? Yes. <laughs> she does love Wizzy, yeah. She has tried to get in on occasion, but it's not happening quite yet. Listen, it's really lovely to talk to you, Millie, and it's just brilliant to see how fantastic uh, little Jack is in that. So, big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you.
fantastic. Off we go. Here he is. Whizzing around. I wish I could do that in my car. <laughs> Well, let's now have a quick, I'm not sure how I'm doing on the five minute rule, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Nigel Harris, you are now the current chief executive who we've moved this charity on. Um, very nice to talk to you. Um, you're the chief executive, joined in 2009. Uh, you must have seen quite a lot of changes under your tenure. Yes, it's, uh, uh, things have moved on massively. So you've seen today some of the examples around the room of the new digital technologies, so virtual rea reality, some of the robotics work. Um, so we've really been able to uh, work with our academic partners to explore how some of these technologies can be developed and applied. Um, it's great to see some of the uh, research that Roger's team um, uh, developed, started around dementia, flourishing into new products that you've seen there. And when, we, when I first started, there were really limited sales channels to get those products out there. And of course the internet has made uh, uh, products much more accessible. So we've gone from two products selling a few hundred a year to five products selling over 25,000 units over the last two or three years. And those are making a difference in the UK and around the world. So we've seen really big changes. Um, and then also with the WYSIBOG has been a fantastic success story. Um, the, the team that designed it, some of them are, are here. I had no part in that. They did a fantastic job of designing a great product. Um, but we couldn't make that available. How could we make that available when it costs so much to buy? And we had a, a grant of £50,000 from the Starfish Trust, which allowed us to provide five whizzes for loan. And thanks to our generosity of our donors and our fundraising team, we've, we've now got over 320 out around the UK, supported by a half a million pounds a year fundraising, which is a fantastic achievement. It really is. I think, I think we should have a round of applause for the Wizzy Bugs. It's so visual, isn't it? It's so, so impressive as we've just been here. Don't talk about it. She's fine. Listen, she's fine. She's obviously going to be the star of the show here. Yeah. <laughs> what, what factors would you... you know, oh, it's the balloons, of course. <laughs> up, up and away, won't it? What factors would you attribute to, to this real growth and, and real success? So there are two key points really, it's having the right team working in the right environment and having the resources to do the work. So let me unpack that a little bit. So I've, uh, it's a real privilege to me to work with a, a passionate and inspirational team who enjoy working together to make a difference uh, to those we serve. Um, so that's having the right team. And the refurbishment of the premises in 2013 when we changed from of medical engineering to designability is also a step change and David Medlock was here a little bit earlier and the Medlock Family Trust supported that along with the Walson Foundation and having the facilities in the Walson centres to do the work that we do has made a massive difference and changing the name to designability of course we're Bath based uh, that's where we are that's where we started but designability says much more about what we do and about our work nationally and globally and, and what of the future? I know, I know that there are, you know, real challenges ahead. But what of the future? Yeah. Well, it, it, it is challenging, but also exciting. So over this next decade, there'll be more people than ever living with long-term health conditions. Um, and so we want to help people get more out of life by developing more of the products that you see here, and to help people live at home independently and safely using some of the new digital technologies that we have available. We really want to work and inspire the next generation of clinicians, engineers and designers. Um, and we also want to provide, provide more children, not just in the UK, but around the world with WYSIBOX. So those are things that we want to do. We've, we've got the right team in place to do that, um, but we need the, the right working environment and the right resources. So where we've come to a point now with our growth is there's actually no more room for us within the Wilson Centre. And so we actually need more space, so better workshop facilities, and some additional staff so that we can grow and help even more people. So that's the challenge that we're facing over the next 50 years or so. So we're really proud today to announce that the ACT Foundation have agreed to work with us to provide a new state-of-the-art, fully accessible building that's going to meet our needs over the next 50 years. We don't know quite where that's going to be yet. We know it'll be around the Bath area, but that's going to be a tremendous opportunity. So to make this happen, we need £750,000 to fit out the design space and the workshops and to employ some additional team members. At this point, can I just do a big gulp? That's quite a lot of money. <laughs> well, not in, it is, absolutely. Um, 
the, uh, it's a small proportion of what the Act Foundation have committed to make the building available, which is over two million pounds. So that's a tremendous endorsement from the Act Foundation for our work. So we need to do our bit now and raise that seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. So today we're launching the appeal to raise that money as part of our 50th anniversary. So to start this off, we're looking for 50 people who will each give £5,000 over the next five years to raise our first £250,000 towards that target. And they will be what we're calling the 50-50 founders of our new home. And we're going to build the names of those founders into the workshop in the new building. Okay? So as Chief Executive, uh, I want to demonstrate my personal commitment towards this. Um, having spoken to Mrs. Harris, I think it's over there somewhere, <laughs> I want to tell you that we've already signed the forms to become the first of the 50-50 founders. So I'd like to appeal today to those of you around who are able to join me and help us make this vision a reality. So to allow us to make uh, the charity aspire to be what we want it to be, to make, uh, to use research and development and technology to transform people's lives over the years to come. Well, I think the work that you do is absolutely extraordinary. Thank you so much for talking to us. And will you be one of the 50-50? Have a deep breath and think. Thank you very much indeed. And do make sure that you look around and see everything around the edge of the room. It's exciting. Great to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thing to say because um, we're really sorry that Dennis Taylor, who's the executive director of the Act Foundation, is unable to be with us today. So Nigel said, if I could just read out this message, he says, Act is a grant making charity. Hang on, glasses. I do need my glasses for this. <laughs> relatively new acquisition, I keep forgetting that I need glasses. Right, ACT is a grant-making charity that provides support to organisations that enhance the quality of life for people with disabilities or those suffering with long-term illness. In addition to its grants programme, ACT has a social investment fund which looks to provide the infrastructure for small charities seeking to make long-term transformational change to the quality of life for those living with a disability or long-term illness. Dennis says that Designability is a fantastic organisation which through its R&D and product development is leading the way with assistive technologies that will truly transform lives and help people with a disability or long-term illness live independently in the community. The ACT Foundation is delighted to announce its partnership with Designability with the provision of a £2.3 million award as part of its social investment programme. Our award will fund the building of this new 15,000 square foot building to help expand this valuable work, and which we hope will be ready to move into by 2020. Dennis says, very best wishes on this special occasion. So, you've certainly got your support, that's fantastic. I'm going to hand back to Nigel now, who's going to do the official toast. Okay, so I'm going to do the toast in a moment. So the um, Hilton team are going to come round with some glasses, so hopefully um, that will just happen in a moment or two. <laughs> Yes, and we're going to get some of the cake that we saw earlier, I believe. And hopefully there's a piece of the chocolate layer left for me. Okay. I did, I did think that uh, he was looking quite keen as I was looking at you. Yes, but we're going to take a piece back for him later on this evening. So first of all, uh, just while we're getting for the, waiting for the glasses to go round, I, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, Karen and the team here at the Hilton who have been really fantastic in making us so welcome. We really do appreciate that. Uh, for Caroline Grange, who's done so much to organise the event. Where's Caroline? It's over there. Oh, over here. We do have some flowers for you here. You need to come and get them so I can do this. Is that okay, Mrs. <laughs> So I'd just like to thank also the, the trustees and the staff who have taken time to come out and, and set up the, the exhibition and of course our sponsors um, who have made this celebration po uh, possible. It was a wonderful cake uh, that we had. So uh, do we all have uh, glasses? Thank <laughs> you.
Can I just say, Nigel, in, in, the, in the years I've kind of sort of followed your progress and, and done a few reports as well, you are just such a lovely charity to work with. I think the, the, the warmth and the enthusiasm and the friendship amongst you all is really apparent. And I hope for the, for the users as well, that comes through when you, when you meet them. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's such a, a great thing that you are going to endeavour to stay near to the Bath area because I know it's expensive in Bath, isn't it? And, and so, you know, I really hope that the move goes well. Thank you, yes, we, we won't be going too far away and we'll be retaining the centre at the Walsall Centre to work closely with our clinical colleagues and academic partners, so yeah, that's good. So how are we doing with glasses? <laughs> so i just say, um, so once we've had our toast and the cake, uh, the afternoon is, is still open, although it says four o'clock on the programme, please do stay and, and spend a bit of time talking to the team and looking around the exhibition. If you have not had your photo done in the photo booth, I haven't, I'm going to be coming over to the photo booth, and we've got a little bit more music, as live music as well, so you don't have to disappear after you've had your cake and drink. Do please stay around. So how are we doing with the classes? <laughs> Where the musicians take the musicians, would you like to come up and get ready for the set? Yeah. 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 Yeah.